The JV Tigers took the den out for a hunt on the softball field and came back with a 15-4 victory. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome back in to Greer Today News. Coming to you from our headquarters in historic downtown Greer, we went out to the Ridge tonight where JV softball had their final game of the week against Landrum High. Thanks to a few walks that would lead to several RBIs down the batting lineup, Coach Mack was able to walk away from Heather Marie Bruce Memorial Field with a smile. Coach Mack, your team started out a little a little slow in that first inning going down by two runs, but then they were able to get a 6-3 to three lead about halfway into the game. So what was the message in the dugout to pull off that big win? The team's momentum comes from the team coming behind each other. And if one, one gets up, another one gets up. And uh, they were really slow at talking at the beginning. But then once I told them they needed to talk more and they needed to keep moving, then they started picking up one hit after another. I told them one hit at a time, one strike at a time. And then they started getting their group going. One of the biggest strengths that I saw out there was you had you had some free bases with walks, or you had or you had some RBIs, which were the key to bringing in four or three runs at, with just one hit. So what just what what did you see out there in the strengths that, uh, for the girls that you think was probably one of the biggest reasons to go up by 11 runs? We told them to get in the front of the box. Uh, we noticed those sayings, and they the girls listened to us very well. And once they listened to us, they started putting the ball in play, and then they started making harder hits, harder swings, and then it started going. It was a trickle effect. Effects. Dakota and Emily were probably two of the biggest ones because it's practically a grand slam with, with a hit oh, with yeah. a hit that stays in the field, bringing in eight runs out of just two of their hits. Uh, how how proud did it make you in in that dugout, or just tell me what you saw, what you were feeling when you saw those when you saw those go into the outfield? Uh, I was I was just excited. Uh, the girls don't really get that big of a hit all the time, so when they do and they round second base, all you see is just their white seeds coming, and so I just keep on going, and then they're just. They keep running and they just do their job. The Tigers got off to a slow start behind Landrum, going down two to nothing in the first inning. But thanks to two triple RBIs by Dakota Norris and Emily Cothran, Blue Ridge was back on top six to three halfway through the game. So afterwards, we caught up with the two hitters to talk to them about how they got it done at the plate and what's in store for the season ahead. Dakota, you walked up to that plate and you came out with a triple RBI. So tell me from from a mental standpoint, what was happening when it was just you and the pitcher? I was just focused on hitting the ball and supporting my team. <laughs> and just trying to get us as a lead. What was the message in the dugout when you were talking to your coach before you went out there, knowing that it was it was sort of early in the game, you had you have players on your team that are out on the bases, it matters for multiple runs, not just going up by one. Just having fun out there and being a team and just focusing on hitting the ball and getting some scores on the board. You guys will have a couple days off and then you'll take the field against St. Joe's, so talk to me, what are you guys going to work on in terms of practice, in terms of hitting and pitching and being ready in the outfield to take them on? Communicating and running after the ball and leading each other on and having fun. Out on the mound tonight, it was Lila Triplett who was the star for the Tigers to hold Landrum to just those four runs and get strikeout after strikeout. So afterwards, we called up to the freshman to ask how she was getting it done out there and what was the communication with her team, along with that double RBI she got late in the game to give Blue Ridge more than a 10-run lead. So Lila, you led the Tigers out on the mound tonight. Some great pitching out there. Just tell me, what are some of the highlights you see tonight for how you and the Lady Tigers came together? We, were, we worked as a team. We um, went out there and played our hardest. By the plate, too, you had a couple RBIs. You were able to get good communication on the field. What was the message in the dugout to get all that done? Supporting my team, keeping them upbeat, you know, not getting down on themselves. Always giving 100%, never getting down on yourself or thinking, you know, it's over in the beginning. Just keep on pushing through. JV softball will get a couple days rest, then be back on the hunt for another victory on Monday starting at 5.30 p.m., taking on St. Joe's. Varsity softball will take the field on Friday starting at 6 p.m. against Chapman High, so we'll see going into the weekend can the softball Tigers get back-to-back -back wins. For all the latest updates on Blue Ridge softball, log on to greertoday.com, and don't forget to follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Coming to you from our headquarters in historic downtown Greer, I'm Alex Love reporting for Greer Today News, and from all of us here at greertoday.com and around the community, thank you for watching.